Yes. Harrington? Yes. Uther? Abstain. Johnson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Weiss? Yes. Sisson? Yes. Thank you, Council. It is uh, now time for public forum. If anybody wants to approach this wise council on issues that is not on the council agenda, now is the time and the place. Uh, please approach and your, say your name if we didn't know yet. My name is Jessica Press. Um, I'm here from the chamber tonight. Uh, just kind of a heads up, we are planning um, kind of like an amazing race type of thing that's going to be happening over Swedish Days weekend that Saturday. So it'll be eight teams of four, and we're just going to send them kind of to random places throughout the town and have them do challenges. Um, we're going to have one challenge at South Park by the tank, and then another challenge at North Park next to the Welcome to Holdridge sign. So just kind of giving you guys a heads up that there's going to be eight teams of four crazy people running around. Um, we're working with Jansen, so Jansen's will be doing uh, the actual driving of the event, so nobody will be driving reckless, hopefully. Um, and then it's going to end downtown during uh, the street fest on the courthouse lawn. That will be the day before? Nope, Saturday morning. So it'll start about 11 after the parade and hopefully gets done in about two hours and should be able to crown the winners around one-ish, two-ish. Is this like a scavenger hunt type deal? Yeah, so they go to these um, different locations and they have a challenge there, so they have to do something that nobody has any experience doing or knowing what they're doing and just race to the finish, so. The old bungee jump. We're not gonna make anybody bungee jump. <laughs> we thought about making them dive to the bottom of the pool to get a clue, but then Jansons would have to deal with wet cars. And, yeah. <laughs> so these are adults, not children? Yes, adults, 18 and over to participate. We you need any assistance from the city? We shouldn't. Mm -mm. Just kind of want to let you guys know that we're going to be using the public park for it. Oh, cool. Yeah. Question. Okay. Madam Chamber. <laughs> your 37 scoop? Yeah. Is this your first edition? Yes. What did that cost to publish and promote and distribute? Um, I don't know off the top of my head, but we distributed to every door in Phelps County, so it's about 4,000 people that it hit. Um, we worked with Christine Jacobson. She did the layout, um, worked on the stories and everything, and we just kind of let her know the content to put in it. We tried to make it like a hybrid of a chamber newsletter, but also like highlighting our members in the community and also other events that are going on around town. That's so, great. Yeah, it, we, it was very well received, I think, from the community and just letting them know that the chamber is doing stuff. So, and stuff's happening in our community. Come and see it. Yeah, I was going to bring that up. I think that was really yeah. a neat publication. Thank you. Yeah, I, I think it was a good opportunity for a little bit of everything to promote tourism, let people know that we're hiring. BD took out a, a job openings ad in it, and I mean, they were able to hit 4,000 doors of immediate people saying that they have jobs and what they were hiring at. So hopefully it brings something to the community. Yeah, this came out about a month ago. Yes. So it's a biannual publication. Um, our next one will be out in September. And you're leaving at the end of the month? Yes. <laughs> uh, I think that was very classy, very, mm -hmm. very good. Well good chamber. Put out something There's still like copies at the chamber office, so if anybody wants one, they're welcome to pick one up there. And if they want to know how to advertise in one, um, they can contact the chamber. Awesome. I'll be back in a bit. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Jessica. <coughs> Nothing else? I will close the public forum. Uh, <laughs> item four, consider a request from Lost Way Brewery for a HHS 20-year reunion fundraising event on Saturday, June 19, 2021. Welcome that? back. Your steps. I know. <laughs> Getting my steps in. Um, so we came, Cody and I came last council meeting and talked about this event that we're working um, on the high school class with. Um, and I'll run everybody kind of through the diagram that's on this outdoor area, the Form 109. 
So that'll be on Third Avenue. Um, Cody's talked to Wagner's already, and they're fine with letting us block off that entire street there. Um, but we're going to have the band um, closer to the intersection of West and Third, and then they'll be. It's not easy to look at this upside down. Um, they're going to be vertical, so going north and south, and. Um, to the left of that, we're going to have all the picnic tables, and um, we'll set up the bar right in that alleyway, so that way both us and the Eagles have easy access to get to our back doors if we need refills for anything. Jessica, I have June 19th, and you have July 19th. Is it July 19th? June 19th. Okay. Did I have it wrong? Yeah, yeah July. It's got 7 19th. Oh, whoops. Yes, June 19th. I'll fix okay. that before I submit it. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Is the Eagles okay with you? That folks talks into me and all that? Yeah. Talk to Mark about it. He's pointing at you, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I mean, we're cool, right? <laughs> yeah. Very good. And we'll make sure that in case of an emergency, the alleys aren't blocked. Okay. And for fire purposes, or that if you're not gonna have a whole bunch of stuff set up in there, are you? It's just going not to be in the alleyway. <clears throat> um, we'll probably have like picnic tables, but we can space it to where that alleyway isn't blocked if you prefer. Yeah, and if you can make sure there's a width that a fire truck can get down one side of the street. Okay. So go you'd probably in. Want it okay. More, you'd probably want it more on the north side then, so a truck could either be on Third Street or. So Picnic tables are going to have to be to one side so a truck has access to get down the street. Okay. N not the alley and the street. Okay. For, for fire, I mean, it would happen around no, but if it does, and we're, we're prepared. not yeah. prepared for that, then we're going to look kind of stupid. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. <coughs> I presume you're going to want the city's assistance blocking off the streets? Blocking off the street, yes. And for that, we're working with CERT, and CERT is going to help with um, the gate. So we'll have somebody at the gate to what, right? Yeah. Cool. Any issues from staff? What time are you looking at wanting to set up? Um, they were wanting to set up. I put 3 p.m. on here. I think he had said, was it 7 to 11? 7 to 11. 7 to 11 is what time. I always try to just buffer for liquor license on each side just to be safe. Um, but yeah, we would probably start setting up 4-ish, I would imagine. On your application five. it says it's free. Whatever, just, just work yeah. with our staff. I, yeah, I just, when I do liquor licenses, I prefer to be safe than sorry and not get a ticket for having somebody have an open container out there at 359, so. <laughs> Sounds great. So we could block it off starting around 3? Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Council have any questions for Jessica? When we do this block off and, and the fundraiser, there's going to be a gate that they physically go through. Mm -hmm. So is that... Is there supposed to be a double gate or something like that? So, so we'll the double gate or? is for nonprofit organizations. It doesn't, uh, we, since we already have a liquor license, we don't have to do that. Mm -hmm. Super Thanks. education. You're welcome. <laughs> no other questions? Motion to approve. I'll make a motion. Nick Smith? Second. Trent Fuker? Weiss? Yes. Sesson? Yes. McDermott? Yes. Gibbons? Yes. Harrington? Yes. Duker? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Yes. Thank you. Item 5. Proven application for special designated liquor license from the Law Busway Brewery for Saturday, June 19th, 2021. Um, so every, well, the first year we did it was 2019, but we did a 5K. Um, we had about 100 people running it, and most of them were from, like, Lincoln, Omaha area, so I, it was a really great event. We do a live band outside, 
So at the end of the race, they have the live band, they have the street um, or the beer garden. Uh, we had screen machines set up doing t-shirts and stuff outside. And so it was just an overall good time. So we're doing that again this year. Um, I printed out a copy of the route. So if you guys want to pass that down. And so this route, instead of, oh, it like blocks off in the middle for some reason. I don't know why that's like that. Uh, Excuse me, are, are we on item uh, four? We, we approved the 20 year reunion. Item five would be the liquor license. Yep. You need to approve this license first before we start talking about the bicycle. Oh, my bad. Oh. Sorry. That's yeah. <laughs> the, the, what she was talking about to begin with. Yeah. So that's the HHS, and that's what you want the special designated license yeah. for. Yeah, but four was to approve the closing of the street, five is to, give, to approve the license. Four and five. Motion to approve the liquor license, but special designated list for the liquor license. Nick? I'll second. Nick and Dale Harrington. Rolled into the same. Weiss? Yes. Do you guys want Sisson? Yes. McDermott? Yes. Gibbon? Yes. Harrington? Yes. Yes. Buker? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Smith? That yes. Okay. Now we're ready for the item six. 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 Find your way to fun run. Yes. Okay. Can I just pick up where I left off? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so this year the route is different. It's this one that you have in that second sheet. So this year it's two laps. So instead of crossing the um, train tracks like we had to do last year, um, we just found a route to kind of stay south of town, away from the highway, but also away from the railroad. <coughs> So when they come back up to finish their first lap, they'll have that option to run through the tap room and grab like a mid-race gear, or they can keep running and do their second loop, and then they'll finish back at the tap room. Um, from there, we'll have the live band, and if you look at the SDL that I have, <coughs> second four, four, 409, the highlighted area is going to be where the finish line is going to be, as well as the live band, and I've talked to the Eagles um, Mark Bean and they've allowed us to use kind of like that back parking area for the live band. So they'll be there and then we'll still have um, some little pop-up vendors on the sidewalk and picnic tables um, kind of in the street. Um, she, would we be able to put police or would we be able to put um, picnic tables in the alleyway there? As long as we close the alley. Yeah, and it would be from, the so the race starts at 10 a.m., so we would probably get set up, I think last year I started setting up about 8, because we do registration at 9, and then everything's done and torn down by probably 2 o'clock. It's not an all-day, all-night thing that gets taken down and business as usual. And Jessica, what's the date? That is May 8th. So two weeks from now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, you, so you wouldn't be going till 11. Be going till 11. No, like I said, I just get it extra just okay. in case. Twice. So for some reason, we still had a good crowd, and you know we decided to put the alleyway part away, but we can leave the front part of the tap room and the sidewalk open since we have the picnic tables. And mm -hmm. so, if we decide to do that, we're covered license-wise. I don't, I don't know if we can block the alleyway, I guess. I don't see any reason why we can't, Chief. Because they'll have access from the south side if they would need to come in. All right. It's all on you, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can evacuate them real put quick that, if that, it had to be. I mean, if the yeah. truck's big enough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now Saturday shouldn't be too, too much activity there. We'll Any have other concerns or questions? What time is the move? The race starts at 10 a.m., so we'll start set up probably about 8 a.m. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, <coughs> you're going to have pets? Yeah, pet registrations. So people can register their dogs, and their dogs get cool little bandanas. Or cats, I mean, if you want to run with a cat, I don't know. So these are 
going to be active participating pets in the run. Mm -hmm. All leashed, I'm assuming. Yep, yep, it's all online. Mm -hmm. cool. And really, you won't need any police escort or anything? Not like we, so for our first one, I think we had somebody right on the corner of Grant and 4th Avenue just to kind of help block it off when we started the race there because we were going to have like a group of people waiting for the gun to start. But that's going to all happen in the alley and the alley's already going to be closed, so I don't see a reason for it. Um, I'm going to try to get as many volunteers as possible just to kind of stand in the intersections and make sure, you know, that traffic crossing knows that there's something going on down there. So last year we worked, or two years ago, we worked with Black Hills Energy and they just stopped at the intersection and they enjoyed it. Um, I think, I don't know, did you, did you guys enjoy it, Mike? <laughs> um, and then we worked at the YMCA last year also and the museum to get volunteers um, throughout the course so if we can't find as many volunteers this year we'll just put signs in South Park kind of at the turns where they have to turn so um, if we can't find volunteers for that we'll do that. Motion to approve. I submit. Dale Harrington makes a motion. I'll second. Mike Tisson. <coughs> Buker. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Smith. Yes. Lees. Yes. Sisson. Yes. Chairman. Yes. Aaron. Yes. Harrington. Yes. Thanks, guys. And item number seven: approving application for special de de designated liquor license from the Las Vegas Brewery. For Saturday, May 21st. May 8th. May 8th. That's it. May 8th. Oh, May. Okay. Any questions? I move to approve. Mary McDermott. Second by Corey Weeks. Gibbons. Yes. Harrington. Yes. Buker. Yes. Johnson. Yes. <coughs> yes. Reese? Yes. Sisson? Yes. McDermott? Yes. Thank you, motion carried. Item 8. Receive an update on the Veterans Memorial Fundraising event. State your name. Cody TG. Amy TG. So, here we are. Um, not much has changed. Um, we're still online going through with it. Um, still starting at 7.30. We're until midnight. Uh, all the tournaments are still good. Um, so kind of a little rundown. Um, so like 7.30ish, we'll start with volleyball, horseshoe, cornhole tournaments. Those will run until about 3, hopefully. Um, we'll have a pancake feed during that. So we'll have food for people so they don't leave. Um, we'll have somebody do the anthem before we start all that. Just a little, you know, hoorah. Uh, about nine, we'll start with our uh, craft vendors and booths. Um, all the branches of the military, they'll all be there. They'll have recruiting booths set up, informational booths. Um, the Marines are going to bring up like a, a pull up bar challenge for people, just a little incentive them what they're about. Um, from 9 to 3, we decided to uh, have a little music so it's not so quiet and dull. So in that north shelter, that concrete or brick shelter, red brick shelter, um, the churches are actually going to set up and do a little Christian uh, concert, if you will, um, throughout the morning and early afternoon. Um, show and shine, we're still having that. Um, Law enforcement will be there. Um, I mean, city, county, state patrol, uh, National Guard's coming. They're bringing a bunch of stuff. I just talked with them before we came. So we'll have those lined up back by the tank. Uh, food trucks, they'll still be 11 to 7. Those are run through. Uh, noon to 4, the kids' activities, bounce house, dunk tank. Still keeping our fingers crossed on the zip line. Uh, so a bunch of stuff like that. 
Um, four o'clock, we'll do the prayer, the rededication, and they'll go through all of that, probably about a half hour, 45 minutes or so. And then we'll run into uh, the bands, and you know, that'll run until midnight. We'll have the hamburger hot dog feed that'll be going on, the beer garden will be going on. Um, we'll have uh, a trackless train. Um, uh, Lyle Patterson, he's going to come and they're going to run it around the block for the kids. So we'll be uh, doing all that. The YMCA, they're, they're helping out. They're doing the volleyball tournament and they're bringing their knocker ball game. So big balls you run in people with. Um, so we'll have all that. Um, <coughs> So that's what's kind of going on. So everything's still planned out. Everything's working out very well. Um, I do have some questions um, and some requests, if possible. Um, picnic tables. If we can pull all or some from the North Park, so we have some seating in the ball field area. We can't move any from the North Park because they're all staked down. Are they? We do that because if we don't stake them down, they end up in the lake. <laughs> Is there any spares or do you have any extra? The only thing we have is down in the south park. Okay. Okay. We'll make that work. Um, the other thing would be power at that shelter. Um, is there a way? The north one? The north one? Um, oh, yeah. The north, north one that was all redone. It's got power. <laughs> right there. Not the northwest one. That's, That's a bathroom. That's so a bathroom. So this Shelters to the left. That one? Yeah. Go right left. To the left. Right That's there. a shelter okay. right there. No, it's the one the to the brick right. one. The right brick on one the has no power. There. Oh, there's and no there's no there's no possibility of getting power to it. We've been working on it for about five years, but all the underground's really messed up, and it got. Okay. We just have it. We see receptacles, so I figured there was. No, they have they have not worked. There's no power. There's oh, nothing there. okay. It, it's well, it's a big mess. Okay. All right. Well, we'll work around that. That's not a problem. But up in that area, anyway, that's where we're going to have those bands, those Christian bands up there playing. So it pulls people up to the food trucks so things don't get overlooked. And then all the vendors will be in this area up here in that little nook. Um, the zip line turns out, we'll run it right here, right over the top, and it should end up in that area. Um, the other thing, like the bounce houses, the dunk tanks, and all that stuff, that's going to be located in the southwest uh, corner right in here. Um, Cody, is that Christian, the music, are they going to need power? Cause they know. are. Um, I do have that generator from Almonds. Because okay. um, there are some outlets in that, that northwest shelter. In the far there. left one? Yeah, that far left one, just not to the far right of the curve over there. Okay, so well, we might go to run, well, that might work, that little empty section. <coughs> that might work. We might it depends how much you need, let me know. We can okay. check on wire size and breaker size and whatever. They were saying they'd need three duplex outlets total. Okay. So I don't know what's there. I haven't been to yeah, that shelter sure. yet. Give me a hauler. Okay. We'll go look at it. Together. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. um, there's that. There's another thing. Um, the YMCA, they said that they could uh, provide us an obstacle course for the pool. If the pool could open a week earlier, if that's a possibility. Which so won't be possible. No? Okay. That, that works. Sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. <laughs> um, and the fencing, as far as the beer garden. We scroll down a little bit, ball field area. Mm, no, I cannot. Is it right up? Yeah. There we go. Okay, so instead of having the beer garden limited to this area right back here, since there's already a layer of fence all the way around the ball field. We'd like to make it the entire ball field. I mean, they'll serve back here, but people can go up here and sit on the grass or bring their own chairs and you know just watch the music, have a good time. We just think that's going to be an easy 
solution. Um, so there's that. The gap in the ball field fence from around, which would be left field, coming up there, you have to put snow fence in there or something. Or Where at again? There isn't there a gap or a walkway in between the the outfield fence comes around. <coughs> I think it, it overlaps. Does it overlap? I think it overlaps. They still have to block it off. You right? can walk yeah. through there, I think. Right, yeah. and then through the dugouts. Yeah. So that still be okay then? Just doing one one thing, a snow fence for that secondary. You want a fence where you have control of who's coming and going. Right, and we'll have the Eagles, they'll be at the entrances. The Eagle Riders will be there watching who comes in, who comes out, checking IDs, um, and all that. So that's, it'll be contained. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, but. Yeah. So the whole ball field is containment. You just have to block off. Other exits, right? Right. And then we'll have the the van. They'll be right there at home base. The two trailers will be parked um, back to back, so they can set up. Um, and the old tennis courts is that going to be utilized right away, or is that you won't be able to get in there either? Okay. Uh, they're supposed to, TL Sun was supposed to be here uh, April 19th, but I have not heard okay. lately, you know, with the weather, what they're, you know, Cody, unless for some reason they get in here and get it done, then okay. we'll probably utilize them. Okay. I'll right. let you know. All right. Perfect. I, I had my hands on that. That's fine. Because it's yeah. just, it it's going to be dirt. And so. Okay. All right. No problem. Um, about it. Um, there is one additional request uh, for one of the tournaments for our horseshoe tournament. Um, there's a gentleman in Bellevue that's going to come run it. It's, he's on the whole national horseshoe deal. Um, and he doesn't think two is going to be enough, two uh, sets, if you will. I mean, if, he's like, if you hit 25, 30 people, it's going to take forever to, to pump through. So. We have access to plenty of stakes and horseshoes. Would it be an issue if we put in two temporary sets, kind of in that same area where the other two are? Those, those two are right there. I don't know if we can go one long ways that way and then one more vertical. That would put some sand down. And yeah, you have to have Would they put up uh, like some landscape timber? Yep, yep, that all. Just take it down. It's all taken care of. <coughs> Put some sand in there. Mm -hmm. Does that remove it all when you're done? I don't know about removing the sand, but. <laughs> the I, mean, it, I mean, if you want, we can make it permanent. I the mean, timber is all, or I mean, I guess I'm not familiar. What are the other ones like there? Are they dug in? Yeah. They are dug in, yes. <clears throat> or if you don't want to, you know, put sand, if you don't have an issue, we can put timbers around it and just use the grass. I'm sure that's an option, but then again, you're gonna, yeah, you'll chew up or shoot. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah. I mean, if it's, okay. I'm sure if it's okay it. with it's you like guys, we yeah. can just yeah. install away, but two good. more and well, you know, it'll, it'll be there. there. Something like that with some backing or something to help deflection be reduced and then put some sand in or whatever. We'll just have to Get rid of the sand rovers and you're in the good It needs to be regulation. It needs to be safe. Yep. And he the, the gentleman that's putting it on, he's coming down the day before and we'll get that set up, measured out and everything. But I mean he's he's the guy, I guess. As long as there all the regulations. Yeah. That'd be good when we know who it is if he's gonna clean it up. <laughs> You've got a lot of things going. <clears throat> Are you working with the chamber of the PCDC uh, as far as promoting yeah, all these yeah. activities? Yeah, we, I mean, we, gotta, so. we need to get together again and talk, but it's, yeah. Chief. Then where are you going to have the law enforcement vehicles and National Guard will be down those will be by the parking lot of the back west parking lot? Yeah, those the will be right here, this whole section. Hopefully we'll do two rows, one on the left, one on the right. 
and maybe a single row down that road until it tees off or X's off. Is there, there any reason, there. is there any reason why the police are far away from the food? <laughs> I could move on over there. <laughs> now the other only other question I had is uh, are you going to have a first aid tent yes. or anything like um, that? Yes. Um actually the hospital um, they've donated money for a tent or a tent. Um, but the deal is they get to use a quarter of it for themselves. Um, so if somebody falls, scrapes, bruises, whatever, they can take care of um, the situation like that. Do you know where that will be set up yet? That is going to be, okay, if it doesn't rain, it's going to be in this little area Draw. down here. <laughs> in the <laughs> swamp? It, yeah, and if it rains, we're going we're gonna to have to move it up, up in this area. The high ground. Yeah, but the plan is to have it there. Just keep your fingers crossed. So um, that's kind of what I got. That's what's going on. Um, the, yeah, and the flyover. That's that's the thing. It's it's gonna happen. I mean, it's cool. It's, Do you have any idea how many vendors you got lined up? Um, it's it. I'd say about forty right now. We we kind of. Took it in the shorts because of the barn festival um, that's going on at the same time, and a lot of those people. I mean, that's a big thing for Hastings. I mean, mm -hmm. So we lost a lot to that, and we lost a lot because people don't want to be outside for some reason. I don't know, but those were the two excuses or reasons that we got to why. So, where did we end up with the parking there behind? Yeah. And, and the parking, and then the other question was about the golf carts on the sidewalk, right? Where did we end up with that? Um, I didn't think we were going to be able to because of the, the sprinkler heads, right? No. For, we agreed that you could use a golf cart just to okay. make sure that they're done by adults. And right. Okay. Oh, okay. You know, okay. A bunch of okay. kids aren't going to be done um, around. And then, do uh, side by sides fall into that? Yeah. Okay. So you got a couple of those too. Uh, and then the parking cops there. <laughs> oh yeah, up top. Um, we haven't had a chance to talk to those individuals yet. We, we'll, we'll work on that this week. Cody and I talked, and we, I, because Cody made a comment that he wanted the entire north side. Well, there's people that live there that use, you know, use that as parking. So, um, I asked Cody if he would talk to the people and see if they would park all behind the Dairy Queen from Morton Street East. And then we would let them have the vendors go from Morton Street West to the highway. Yeah. If that would work out, and Cody was going to do the legwork and talk to the yeah. to the owners of the houses yeah. and the residents. <coughs> and so that's going to be vital. Yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that's going to be yeah unloading, loading. Yeah. <coughs> um, and then I'm going to talk to uh, the uh, Phelps County Transit. Um, if parking runs into an issue, which it might, depending on how many we get, um, I'm gonna try to work something out with like the Ag Center um, and the uh, uh, that empty lot behind Pizza Hut, and see if we can't shuttle people back and forth like every half hour, 15 minutes, whatever, probably half hour, um, just to cut down on vehicles. Accidents. Right, because there's not going to be much parking. Uh, yeah, I mean, and I, I don't really want to upset all the residential off to that west side. Right. I mean, that's, that would be good. If you yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah, and since it won't be open, that would be, right. be perfect. So we could utilize that too. But we do have permission to use that empty lot uh, south of Pizza Hut. It's just dirt, but. We do have access to that. Yeah. When you get the entire pool parking lot. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> where's, the, where's the show? The show? That that's gonna be up by that tank. Uh, where all the, the uh, National Guard vehicles oh, are gonna be. Right. Yep. The police. Um, the police. Yeah. I need to I need to talk to Dallas. Uh, I'll talk to Dan. I don't know if that transferred over, but I'll just talk to him about the fire trucks and everything. But it's what we got. It's where we're at. And all your first aid will be done by the hospital. Yes. They're volunteering. Yep. All of that. Yep. And they'll, they'll take care of all of that. 
get a quite an event set up. I do. It's it's, so it's been a lot of volunteer hours. I'll tell you that. It's gonna be it's gonna be good. I think. Sounds like it. Yeah, and I think we're okay with that third pit. So. Oh, you are okay with that? I don't know. Okay. Do we have to the horseshoe pit? Do you uh, need a motion to approve it or to have a third pit? Or? Third pit, two more? I'd like four. If we could get two more, that would be fantastic. If not, we can work with three more. Do you need a motion to approve this? Sure. There's not much from the city. Just an update, no. just a report. For our assistance. Oh. Is there any sprinklers or anything? Oh yeah, there's, there's sprinklers there. everywhere. I'm sure we'll have problems. It's all said and done. But I know where Cody lives. Right? <laughs> <laughs> here's water can get shut off. Yeah, but Trent, yeah, the, the problem here lies where the bouncy house is going to go. And I mean, it sounds like he's got a ton of stuff going on. So if we can escape us with little to no damage, I'll be. <laughs> I'll come help. Minimal you. damage. <laughs> I would, I would just like to reiterate that I, I really think Cody's done a good job, but I want to make sure he keeps open communication with, with Brian and I so we can get this yeah, that's, things handled that's a key. Yeah, and yep, get, it, definitely. get things done the way he, he would like to have it done. So. It would be a big event for the community. Yes, I, I, I think question. we need it. Um, uh, behind, I guess, behind those houses, is that all going to be blocked off? Um, be just the parking stalls. We'll have them just kind of swoop in off of uh, Burlington and pull forward as far as we can go, unload, and we'll have those golf carts side by side to help them transport uh, back and forth. And then they'll take off and drop their trailer somewhere. And, uh, well, I know the chief had a concern about fire trucks getting through there. Will, will that be? It should be an issue because you'll still have that, those two lanes. I mean, it's two lanes wide, I would assume. So it shouldn't be. I mean, if we cone off, any truck or trailer should fit horizontally in the parking stall. Okay. I mean, we just take up the space of the parking area, not the yeah. driving area. <clears throat> Sounds good. You got people kind of around to secure the different areas and watch the gates like where people are coming in. Yeah, yeah. Um, to, uh, we have we have probably 35, 40 volunteers total. Um, anywhere from 4-H kids to the rider, EO riders to another uh, biker organization. So I, I and the optimist volunteer if you need some more help. Yeah, we can. Hey, we'll take them. Go we'll find something. Definitely. But yeah, we try to get as many groups as involved as possible. I mean, from Cub Scouts to Girl Scouts to you know the adults with the Eagle Riders and Eagles Club. And, Cool. Looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, good. That's good. Thank you for the update and just Appreciate work with work. Work. Yeah, our staff and keep them updated. And yeah. We'll try to pray for good weather. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys have any other questions or anything? Comments? Concerns? All right. Good work. Sounds great. All right. Thank you. Look, good. Looking nice forward guy. to it. Item nine: Approve an application for special designated liquor license from the Fraternal Order of Eagles, thirty-one thirty-two, for Saturday, May twenty-second, the same day. For some reason, coincidence. <laughs> Sheer coincidence. I've never talked to her. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bean. Uh, independently of us, the uh, Eagles riders will be putting on wristbands and taking care of security and that, but the Eagles in general will be uh, serving up the adult beverages on the northwest corner of the ball dock. And I agree with Cody, it was probably be a lot easier to maintain security by doubling or fencing or putting things around the entire area rather than just uh, that northwest corner, especially where the band is going to be in the southeast corner. People were going to be walking back and forth even anyway. So 
it's better that we fence off the entire thing. And Mark, you want to change that diagram so that it includes the entire more of a circle than the entire area. There was uh, somebody who was just up here speaking that I thought did that one. <laughs> yeah, we need to do that. Okay. Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna have like your eagle letters and stuff guys yeah. patrolling the outer outer parts of it? I honestly don't know if they're gonna be inside or outside. Okay. I just know they said they would volunteer to do the security and put on the stuff. I would guess they'll be split up between those two men. Okay. I just know in outdoor events that because you'll probably allow minors in, they just won't be able to drink right. without the wristband. Right. So that's what I just wondering. Okay. Any other questions for Mr. Beam? If not, I would move to approve the STL. American Dermot moves. Second. Um, Trent Cooper. Gibbons. Yes. Harrington. Yes. Huker. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Smith. Yes. Weiss. Yes. Sisson. Yes. McDermott. Yes. Thank you, Mark. Uh, item 10, consent of file. Reading of Ordinance 2446, adding section 7-209, Fire Prevention, Outdoor Wood Burning Fireplaces to the Municipal Code of City Holders. We have uh, not moved, we have not suspended any of the rules. We're looking for public input, uh, outdoor fireplaces is a lot of fun things to do. Has the council received any uh, feedback from the community, concerns or issues, questions? I have. A, some folks have mentioned that they were a bit confused with what they had been hearing and they were thought we were going to try to ban or outlaw these fire pits. Mm -hmm. And that is not the case. I, I assured them that uh, it's still something that's going to be uh, well received in the community as long as we follow safety features and spark the rescues. Most of this is safety features. I think uh, they misunderstood in the paper. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I read that article in the paper and I think it was just yeah. that you can interpret it two ways. So I've had questions. <coughs> and then so we just we just need to make sure that everybody is aware of these rules. Uh, by definition then by what the rules are. Yeah. Half inch screen on yeah. top of it, nothing over four foot, exactly. no bonfires unless you you get special permission from the fire department. <laughs> Burn ban, uh, wind, if it's over 15 miles an hour, <clears throat> common sense. Sure. And that's why we have to kind of regulate it because. <laughs> that's all I have. Dan. So, Officer Rhoda Walt stopped in today and thought that, uh, let's see, in paragraph. 1A in the construction, and I gave you a copy of this in the back of your little additional packet. Um, he wanted to add the words of an area not larger than one half inch square because he thought that possibly if that's not in there, the, there would be some conflicts with people or possible conflicts with people if they were trying to determine a half inch square of screen. So he thought that, that should be added. Um, I asked Chris about this, and he said, well, I don't think you can change, modify an ordinance on the final reading, which is correct. Um, so if we wanted to make this change, we would need to probably skip this final reading and um, have an amended ordinance to do it at the next meeting, which you could uh, suspend the rules on and have all three readings on the same night, if you wanted. If you don't think it's important, you can leave it the way it is and have the final meeting. That's up to you. Discussion? Or we could pass this. And if there's an issue, 
we could address it later on. What was his issue? What was he saying? Well, if you take away defining the area. Defining the area. So this ordinance says not larger than one half inch square, and he thought that led to some possible misinterpretation or misuse by people to argue with officers or fire um, about the size of their opening. And so if you add the area, that means the size of the hole. So you're thinking people are going to measure across the half an inch instead of the area being a half an inch? I don't know. That was his. Yeah. I can really change it. The area of a half an inch is certainly smaller than a half an inch. I think the biggest issue is trying to get people to, to comply with some of the regulation, some of the safety <coughs> concerns. I think you start with making sure they have it covered, and that's, they can go argue with them. Yeah. Now we have an ordinance that says it has to be covered. They have a leg to stand on. It's not covered. I don't care what your size of it is, but cover it. Right. Well, start yeah. there. If it's a half inch, it's, that's pretty big. Yeah. Yeah. You know, if you go a half inch area, yeah. area yeah. Say, then. Mm -hmm. I, well, we're in no hurry, so I mean, if he if he's got an issue with it, then that's it's better to be preventative than not. So I say we just correct it and there you go. move on. And we're not in no hurry, so table it. Yeah, that that's what I say. We just then correct we it and start do all working. three readings. So if he caught that, that, it's obviously something that we consider. Probably, yeah, he would probably know. What he's one that's going to have to enforce yeah, it. Yeah. Is that, is that yeah. something like we can? Yes. Yeah, we just yeah, so we can pass it all at one reading. Okay, time. that's right. then yeah, let's yeah. 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 you can amend between your first and second yeah. reading, which you can amend. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take maybe really like a half half. That sounds good. All right, so table that one. I have a motion. No, table. we don't need a motion to table, we just let it go. Just let it go for now. Okay. Okay. Sounds great. Uh, item eleven. Consider Ordinance 2447 amending Chapter 5, Article 4, Section 5 417 of the Holdings Municipal Code related to parking time limit. And I think this is a lot to do with uh, the end of the season. And some of it has to do with the end of the season when uh, people can park their trailers on the street. We found that since this has been in effect, most of October is usually pretty nice weather, and people are still wanting to camp and boat. And some people are obviously still have their little pickup traders on there to get leaves off the street, etc. So we uh, thought about extending that from uh, to the to the end of October through October 31st, and so from November 1 to. Uh, March 31st, you would have to have all campers and traders and boats off the street. So what we're doing is extending it 30 days. Now hopefully, you know, if there's a big storm coming, people will have the wherewithal to maybe get something off the street so the street crews can get out there and move snow. Won't work, Kim. <laughs> anyway. Um, well, uh, that, that's one of the things, and then there was parking in the uh, public parking lots. Um, we used to have a sign up at, at 4th and Garfield that had 24-hour parking only. Either a wind came up or a v I think a vehicle hit that post and it went down and it's never been replaced. Um, I think to say that we have to limit people in some of our city parking lots 24 hours is uh, unrealistic, especially when we have apartments and businesses downtown um, that people, you know, people actually walk from Railroad and East Avenue <coughs> to the Holdridge Heights, and it's not Holdridge Heights, I'm sorry, I don't know what's it called now. The old Holdridge Heights. Iron Horse, Iron Horse Flats. Flats. So the walk there, and then of course north and Mosaic, uh, there's apartments across above Shars Fabric or the old Shars Fabrics that people park in there. Also, they park up uh, uh, to the north of the Abramsons, and and so uh, I think it's better if we just leave those. Uh, I think Dane's put in there unless it's posted. 
And so if the city wishes to post it in the future, we would just abide by what that says. So it kind of leaves it open-ended that we wouldn't have to change things in the future if, um, if, if the city does want to put some time on this. Uh, otherwise, I think we do have every, what, 72 hours, and that would probably be enforced on a complaint basis. Um, we're not going to go in there every night and start tagging cars and marking them and things like that because uh, we really don't have many complaints there. So I, I think it's okay the way it is. And, uh, if we get a complaint, then we'll go ahead and contact the person. And uh, we want to try to work with people. You know, and then also, you know, Amtrak people are supposed to be parking in the one now, and if some people have gone for a month, you know, we can't just go in there and tow a vehicle out of there. And we also corrected the two hour parking zone for not more than two hours rather than not more than 10 hours. Okay. To clarify it. To clarify. A little housekeeping. Any concerns from the council? Questions on the, the changes? Just cleaning it up a little. Motion to approve. Ben, make the motion. First reading. Oh, excuse me. First reading, ordinance 2447. An ordinance to amend chapter 5, article 4, section 5417 of the Holdridge Municipal Code related to parking. Maximum time limit. To repeal all other ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith, to provide for the severability of all parts hereof, and to designate the time described when this ordinance shall be in effect, be ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Old Bridge, Nebraska. Yeah. Motion to approve first reading. Oh. Ben. Second. Ben Johnson? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I'll okay. make that motion. <laughs> second by I'll second. Larry Gibbons. Smith. Yes. Reese. Yes. Sisson. Yes. McDermott. Yes. Gibbons. Yes. Harrington. Yes. Euchre. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Uh, suspend the rules. I make a motion to suspend the rules. Mike second. Sisson. Second. Are there Gibbons? McDermott? No. Gibbon? Yes. Harrington? Yes. Euchre? Yes. Johnson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Weeks? Yes. Sisson? Yes. Motion carried. Ordinance 2447. <coughs> Final reading. An ordinance to amend <coughs> Chapter 5, Article 4. Section 5417 of the Holdridge Municipal Code related to parking, maximum time limits. To repeal all other ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith, to provide for the severability of all parts hereof, and to designate the time described when this ordinance shall be in effect, be ordained by the Mayor and Council of the City of Holdridge, Nebraska. Motion to approve the final reading. I'll make the motion to approve file mm -hmm. <coughs> second. Dale Harrington. McDermott. Yes. Gibbon. Yes. Harrington. Yes. Duker. Yes. Johnson. Yes. Smith. Yes. Weiss. Yes. Sisson. Yes. <coughs> Thank you. Motion carried. Mm -hmm. Item 12, consider ordinance 2448, amending chapter 5, article 6, section 5-602 of the Horse Municipal Code relates to the operation of go-karts, minibikes, electric scooters, and motorized skateboards. Thank you. Always have a copy of that. Uh, we do have a business here in, in town who sells them, uh, <clears throat> electric scooters, and uh, they do road test them, they do sell them. I can tell you they're addictive when they do road test them. Uh, 
we we have quite a few around. The uh, Glion, Rob McCormick's here. He has nine employees. Uh, they're looking to expand uh, either more products and other things. Well, you want to approach the council, Rob? I mean, absolutely. Well, just and Dan Ward's one of his. Yeah, yeah. Just so lucky to have Dan on our team. Technicians. Um, yeah, we're just a um, small business. Uh, we're we're operating in the micro mobility um, space. We uh, right now most of our manufacturing is in China, but we have a our U.S. based service center is in Holdridge. Uh, we sell mostly in the United States, mostly on the coast, um, and we have three products, and we're always adding more. And um, our service center in Holdridge is a uh, a big competitive advantage, and I can't tell you how impressed we are with the people that we can find in Holdridge to help us, and also just how great it's been to work with the the chief and the city and the mayor, and it's it's, it's just we're, we're really grateful for for the city of Holdridge. And the mayor stopped by this morning and kind of explained he wanted to clean us up, and obviously we're 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 all for it, and so very. very I don't grateful. want the mayor. Or the chief picking me up because I'm riding my electric scooter <laughs> down to the office. <laughs> but there's quite a few people who, who do get that it's a great community thing. Yeah, I think this micro mobility space is a growing space. You know, I think you're going to see more and more of these sort of transportation devices. Um, and at least, you know, when we, we started the business in 2012, and I guess I like to say that. We introduced our first product in 2014. We have some intellectual property around it, but you know, we introduced it when scooters were for kids. And um, a lot of my, my friends teased me about what, what we were thinking here. But basically, we just combined lithium ion batteries with electric motor technology and wanted it a portable transportation device. And the um, scooter sharing services that we might be familiar with uh, just exploded our business because it introduced adults to the market, to the product. And and once they started renting their scooters, pretty soon they wanted to buy them. And so, so that's where Your electric today. scooters do have uh, headlights, very bright headlights. Yeah. They do have a bright tail light. Uh, ben? Uh, your uh, uh, most recent uh, prototype, what's the size of the wheel on that one? The, the Balto is a yeah yeah it's a twelve inch wheel. Well, okay. Um, well, I'd, I'd hate to change this and then have to reach rechange it in a couple weeks. Yeah, it yeah. Like it was pretty close to the yeah. size. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. No, I think the one thing that a person riding this scooter, especially downtown, you gotta be aware that you know there's gonna be people coming out with businesses, you know, so you gotta be cautious and. Reduce your speed, especially, you know, downtown where there's lots of businesses and stuff. You know. yeah. but, uh, and I've seen uh, the employees, they road test those scooters. Yeah. Uh, they got a, a complaint, they look them over and, and they were road testing them. But when they go through 4th to 5th Avenue with all the businesses, they do go pretty slow. I, I watch keep them. at the curb. Yep. You got to be careful with the alley. Except for the I G. mean, there's, there's a lot of alleys that are blind. Yeah. The alley and the sidewalk there, then you've got to really slow down and be cautious. <coughs> once you get it hurt. I had talked to Rob a number of years ago did, about yeah. that, about making sure you stayed near the curb because people coming out of businesses, and they've always done that from that point on. Um, and we, I've never heard another complaint about it. Obviously, they have to <coughs> test them. I think they can go up to the courthouse and rip around yeah, a little yeah, bit. Right around courthouse. Keep that on the sheriffs. <laughs> <laughs> Wave when we go by the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Scooters have been in the community for some years and have not been an issue that I'm aware of. And I just don't want it to be a, an issue because these have been on the books for a long time. We just like to work with our local businesses and the, the only question I have, and I should have talked about this before, do we need to put, since we have go-kart, mini bike, motorized skateboard, do we have to say electric scooter um, under paragraph A? 
for is a motorized skateboard, since we don't have a definition, um, are they one and the same? We took electric scooter, scooter out of, of paragraph A. Okay. As well as skateboard. But skateboard, what is a motorized skateboard? Yeah, yeah. it should be unlawful to. So you're talking about motorized skateboard? You're talking like the little kids? We talking like the little kids electric ones? Yeah, I guess I haven't. Because I, I haven't even seen the razor the electric 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 like the razors. They make electric ones of those. Yeah, they are. So yeah, so if we're gonna do his. We're say his are okay. I thought about that. Too. Are we gonna now say that the kids that and I'm gonna pick on it and I'm gonna pick on Chief? It's been a long time ago. Long time ago. My neighbor. She ran a paper route, did her paper route walking for years to get this electric scooter, and she was devastated. She was only about 13, 14, she's 20 something now, when Chief told her she couldn't write it to do her paper route. Mm -hmm. So that's why I'm like, do we want to take out the motorized skateboards? And that, was that definition is like the razor, or is that going to fall under his stuff? We need to, if we're going to go keep going, we probably need actual definitions. Because, like, I think of a motorized skateboard as something that doesn't have the handlebars. Yeah. You know, right, and that's that's less stable and less safe than yeah. these glions. So, I, mean, I guess I would pass it as written. You look at this too a motorized skateboard, those hoverboards they sell. Does that fall into that category too? Is it unlawful for a hoverboard? It is a motorized skateboard, motorized right? Skateboard. So, yeah. is that now illegal to ride? So, so you think we should take that out of the list too? I, I, well, a lot of hoverboards are. They're going to be out there on the sidewalks, but you're going to have kids yeah. that... You have a lot of kids that are riding. I mean, yeah. my grandkids, I think they ride them in the house. They ride them in the house. My daughter's on the sidewalk and hers all the time because I told her to stay off the street. But right. that one person, one time she goes off driveway on the street, one person, she's riding on the street. Well, yeah, the ordinance does state that, but I mean, you're looking at the, the razors and motor electric razors they come out with now. I mean, well, you're going to have to start adding golf carts and everything else to the category now. Yeah. We might yeah. have to clarify, we're going to make changes, we might have to clarify the terms and definitions. Dan? Maybe, I think what we're all trying to say here is maybe we're talking about unsafe operations of the skateboards, the golf carts, whatever, you know. I'm just, I'm even looking like you said golf carts. I mean, with not having that definition, we, we open up the electric, and now I have a golf cart. No. Ben Ben's at the golf course and he lives over. Golf carts are covered in another category, aren't they? Well, we have we have new two wheel golf carts now that are one riders. Yeah, they're like a surfboard. You got a handlebar on them. And you set your golf clubs on the back. <coughs> but they're, they're electric and the wheels are all little bigger than fourteen. And off you go. Well, these are small. The other new ones that they have out now are bigger tire ones, like the uh, two of our members at the golf course have those, and those are big and they're a sitter, like. Like a motorcycle, only it's electric. So there are some out there that are small wheel, that are capable of a 40 mile an hour trek down the road. Well, this is a there conversation. Are a golf cart, two wheels, handlebar, or you can get them without the handlebar. You can ride them, uh, I think the surfer Hamilton from Hawaii can get them. You can ride them like that. Just like surfboard, stand there, skateboard, and you hold the electric control in your hand. Yeah, I think you take out the motorized skateboard, and the item B takes out the your smaller razors and stuff like that because they fall under the electric scooter category, small and 14-inch wheels. I mean, that somewhere a line in the sand's got to be drawn. Uh, I think if you guys would pass this on June fifteenth, <laughs> so the new chief can deal with this, uh, I think he, I think that'd be a good idea. <laughs> You're out of line, chief. You're out of line. <laughs> oh, do you want to add it to item B, mini bike or golf cart? Too well, if we think that's going to be an issue, that we don't allow golf carts in the streets. No, and, and I've had people approach me and want to know if they could get 
or are they the well moving vehicle signs? Well, not just that, but they want to get the other vehicles. What do they call them? Uh, it's almost a side by side, 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 side for ultra. Yeah, UTVs. you know, and, and I'm sure not for putting those on the road or yeah, but that adds a gas <coughs> engine that takes up. <coughs> and, and like you say, we have another ordinance that kind of covers I golf carts. Uh, I might have that one read them. So the golf carts are covered elsewhere. Okay. So you still you want to strike motorized skateboard off this list, or you don't pass it as is? I can take that off, and then just that enables that young person that's doing papers to have that electric scooter because they I mean it's a motorized skateboard is pretty much what yeah. those razors are yeah. yeah i agree it's not gonna hurt anything what's counts as what you you know okay, okay taking off the motorized skateboard and do you do a motion or do we need to you can amend it by taking off motorized skateboard, yeah. and we can read it that way the first time now. Okay, there you go. So just go carts and mini bikes then. Yeah, yeah. probably should. Probably need a motion to amend first, and then I'll make the motion to amend. <coughs> I'll second that. Next, Smith and Mary McDermott make that motion to amend. Weiss? Yes. Sisson? Yes. Chairman? Yes. Given? Yes. Franken? Yes. Buker? Abstain. Johnson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Can we have the first reading? First reading, Ordinance 2448. An ordinance to amend Chapter 5, Article 6 of the Holdridge Municipal Code relating to traffic regulation. Go karts, mini bikes, electric scooters, and skateboards with motors. Unlawful operation. To repeal all other ordinances or parts of ordinances in conflict herewith. To provide for the severability of all parts hereof. And to designate the time described when this ordinance shall be in effect. Be ordained by the mayor and council of the city of Fort Ridge, Nebraska. Motion to approve. So moved. McDermott. I'll second. Nick Smith seconds. Gibbons? Yes. Harrington? Yes. Buker? Upstate. Johnson? Yes. Smith? Yes. Weiss? Yes. Sisson? Yes. McDermott? Yes. First reading. What's the council's issues? I think we we'll get a lot of time for another feedback. Yeah. Yeah. <coughs> well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for your service. Thank you much. Dan, <coughs> you have snow tires for those little scooters? <laughs> uh, you can use zip ties on them. <laughs> 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 Sounds like you've tried it, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen some pictures. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thanks, gentlemen, for coming. Uh, Time for open discussion. Uh, we've order, ordered the lights for the ball field project. Um, those are in process. We've been, I've been talking to contractors about doing the drainage, waiting for some prices to come in on that. Uh, I met with Kara on the found, at the foundation last Friday. She's probably going to be here. Uh, the next meeting, I'm probably going to give us an update on uh, the library project and where they're going. So, cool. Dean and I have been working with uh, Doug from Olson's on cleaning up our redevelopment district. We have some overlap in some areas that we need to amend, so we'll be coming, bringing that to the council probably within the next month to clean those areas up and get that correct. So, that's all I've got. Good. Dane. No, thank you. Chief. Um, 44 days, 21 hours, <laughs> uh, 48 minutes. You're out of line, Chief. Um, <laughs> Just to let you know that I, I think you will be discussing that a little bit about the chief's position here just, uh, shortly, and you can be filled in there. Uh, we we did test for police officer position. We only had two applicants, both passed the test. Uh, they did physical fitness test. Uh, 
neither pass them all completely. That doesn't mean that they wouldn't be allowed in the training center. Uh, so now the backgrounds are continuing. We've been doing those, and so uh, continues. We'll let you know when time comes. When we uh, will probably have interviews and choose officers. So, since Noah has resigned, he'll be starting the 24th. Well, he'll be done the 24th of this end of this week. Chief Wallace heard my wrath and. <laughs> Hate to see him go, but that's yeah, very good option. Cool. Nick. Yeah. Nope. Ben. Uh, I had a complaint yesterday about the alley behind, um, I think in between Morton and Hancock, north of Fourth Avenue, is. They said there was some work done over there, and then it wasn't put back into great condition. I haven't driven by and seen What's it. What's address? It's the, the alley in between Morton and Hancock, north of 4th Avenue. They had a sewer collapse there, so, yeah. and it was dug. And I've, I've driven yeah, we've, I've talked with some of the property owners over there, and we're working on trying to get it done, but okay. with the snow and whatnot, we haven't been able to get in there. Okay, you're aware yeah, of that, though? I've, Darren, Darren Urbaum and his wife sat down with me about about a week ago. Okay. It's not I, bad in dry weather. Okay. I, I didn't drive by it or anything. I was no, it's, it's pretty bad. bad. Okay. <clears throat> That's all I had. Thanks for bringing that up. Trent. All good in the hood. Nothing here. <laughs> <laughs> you want to repeat that? <laughs> 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 Mr. Harrington, I presume. Nothing tonight. Mayor. Okay. Nothing tonight. Okay, Mary? No, thank you. Yeah. Mr. Sisson. Everything's good at my room, my place. I see they've torn up the street in front of your property. Yeah, they did that today, yeah. Um, uh, here comes the rain and the snow. <laughs> Corey. Uh, I did have a gentleman contact me uh, the other day about concern about signage at the North Park as far as what the ducks, what should and should not be fed to the ducks at the North Park. I'm not sure whether they witnessed somebody feeding something to the ducks that wasn't proper. Um, the offer was, or, you know, he suggested perhaps signs around the North Park about what is appropriate. And then what I saw was uh, people should not be feeding bread to mm -hmm. the ducks. And, I think they're uh, just going to talk to staff about maybe donating some signs. Yeah. Well, can I do tell you that uh, the city has never claimed that the ducks are the city's. People buy the ducks, the geese, etc. When they get too big, they can't take care of them. They dump them off at the lake. So they're really not city property. Thank so instead of directing people, <laughs> thank you for bringing that's a good point. We do not want the liability of those geese. So instead of directing people what to not feed the ducks, because they're not our ducks and not they're, our business, maybe just Maybe it's more of an informational statement of well, red that, is bad for yeah, ducks. And I, I, I got the same phone call. Yeah, okay. Well, and there again, you know, like Mary said, they had talked about donating the signage, so. Uh, if he wants to donate the signage, we can put it up. It's no big deal. Martin, you're you but I, phone call. A recommendation, maybe, yeah, on the signage. So. People bring corn and throw up on the ground, which is really good. The rats love it. Uh, they, they like to live in the rocks and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> they are there. They are there. <laughs> Natalie. Yeah. Nothing from me. Can't top that one? No. <laughs> Kim. Nothing. Brian. I don't have anything tonight. Mary, we've saved just plenty of time for you. I have nothing tonight. <laughs> and talking with. Uh, Rob and his crew this morning a little bit. You know, these electric scooters, but hiking bike trails. Uh, kind of big topic in with the YMCA with a lot of different people. Someday it'd be nice if we could have a sidewalk, hike and bike trail or something uh, out to BD. Uh, encourage people to ride bikes or to scooters or something. So maybe down, down the road 
sometime. Uh, I see in the chief's notes, Unit 99, they've had 26 calls this last month, almost one a day. Uh, our volunteers are extremely busy besides their regular meetings and, and stuff. But, uh, <clears throat> but in the past six years, the, the council has approved a lot of quality volunteers, uh, different boards and authorities, uh, but now it's time for one of our own to step up. Senior citizen is board is looking for somebody to fill in. We we had a uh, council member. I don't know how many years ago Richard Miska was on the council. Uh, he he their bylaws says, well we donate four thousand dollars to a year. They say that we need to have somebody from the council on there. Uh, the the county funds most of their money. They they do a lot of good in our community. I'm asking for a volunteer. What was it again? What? What committee? Senior citizen board. Over here at senior center. Uh, I'll do it. You do it? Yeah. I know Denise. They meet once once a month. Uh, Denise you got my number. So you'll let me anyway. I should. When do they meet? It's hard. They'll call you. Uh, Nine o'clock in the morning. It's the second Thursday after the first Monday. Figure that one out. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> but they'll let you know. Yeah. That's fine. They. I know we here a while back, and they have drive by, and and uh, I think. <clears throat> During uh, one of their drive-by during this uh, COVID stuff, they they fed 155 meals out of there, and they create a traffic jam over here on Darville Street sometime. In May. So uh, Nick Smith will be our volunteer on that. That's great. <laughs> there wasn't an age limit on that, was there? What? There wasn't an age limit. I mean, <laughs> I'm, <gonna be> too <laughs> young. I'm just getting, I'm getting prepared for the future. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I can get menus put in before they <laughs> Brian, we don't like you. We'll get good menus. A uh, good group of people. So. Yes. Uh, is that that of my... There's nothing else. This meeting no, is adjourned. No, no, no. Oh, oh what? Excuse me. We got a big item to do. Make a motion to go into closed session? Please. Mike makes the motion Second. to go into closed session. Second.